And it'll be good if you're telling people to go to leverxacademy.com. Yeah. It's more important now that you leverage the services that you do provide and the value that you provide. It's more important that you are able to articulate that and leverage whatever it is that you do for your clients in a way that you haven't before because you're required now to disclose that and to get an agreement signed where you wouldn't have before. So what are some of the things that you're hearing and your perspectives on that? Sellers surprising didn't know that this was the commissions were negotiable, which they've always been negotiable. So, um, but my concern would be with, you have uh, first time home buyers and then so a lot of buyers when you're, when you work with them, they don't have the, the money it's, uh, they're cash poor. They barely have enough to put the money down. So they're going to, uh, end up being without if they don't have an agent. So, uh, that, that'll be a struggle for those, for, for savvy investors, they're fine. They're going to take advantage of that and maybe save some money um, or think they're saving money. It's kind of like a for sale by owner. Right. <laughs> you know, they think they're saving money, but uh, but in the end, they have less buyers coming to their house and they're not selling their house. So the question uh, that needs to be answered is, do you want to sell your house? And if you want to sell your house, how do we get the most buyers through your house? Um, so for selling agents and then for buyers agents, um, and working with buyers is, uh, do you want to be represented by an, a buyer's agent or do you want to represent yourself knowing not, knowing very little? And then you need to know the listing agent works for the seller.